That was my argument for, tw- for a strong seven. Ebony K. Williams, was I correct in my assessment? I, 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 where, I, where is it? I vehemently agree with the strong seven argument. Now, but, but you, you vehemently what? what? I vehemently agree. Agree. That the strong agree. seven is best position. I'll go further. She's best position, Stephen A., um, to partner with uh, the, the, I don't want to say average. People get mad when I say average or mediocre. You know, they get real mad. There you go. Um, <laughs> she's best <laughs> positioned to partner with the majority of available. How about that? How the about majority that? of available men. And, and it's for all the reasons you said, and I actually identified this um, in my early 20s, like coming out of law, coming out of, um, law school. And I realized that some of the things that, that myself and my uh, female counterparts um, were priding ourselves on, mm-hmm. um, being really, really well educated, being mm-hmm. very well accomplished, um, being pretty, but like pretty in a way that society deems is particularly valuable because we mm-hmm. know there's actual pretty and then there's kind of marketability, mm-hmm. if you will, like the kind of objective standard. And those things really just did not translate on the dating marketplace. And imagine how perplexed some of us were. Mm. Uh, but I, I said to my girlfriends long ago, I said, y'all, all of this nines and tens, um, we might be in that space, even eights. Um, it, it's not going to serve us the competitive advantage when it relates to our sisters, who I'm even going to say six and sevens. Mm. Why? Because you got to really look at what the market, and we're talking about, um, and this is through a hetero lens, of course, this is what men Want what do men really want, Stephen? I'm gonna say some things, and I want you to confirm or deny. I'll I'll do that for you. I'll do do, that for you. I really really invite that. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're gonna get into what she says when it comes to men want, but she said the strong strong seven is more likely to partner with a man. Strong seven is more likely to partner. Go ahead, uh, Manning. Feel free to respond to that and go ahead and get your take on what was said thus far. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I like what everybody said. Um, we touched on delusion. We touched on accountability. We touched on um, just the changes as you mature and grow. Um, I think if you take outside of your perspective and just look at, you know, from the lens of a uh, 10, you know, she's going around getting all this attention, you know, so she's used to attention. So her vetting process is going to be completely different. She's going to be Nope. If you do, if you do one little misstep, you're, you're, you're out of here. Boom, boom, boom. Because I have guys, you know, dropping cash apps for me just to say hello to me, like, you know, just for me to entertain them. So it's just like, um, uh, cause I have mentioned it, like, you know, men enable this type of behavior. If we didn't enable this type of behavior, they wouldn't act like this. But the only pushback that I kind of give is that, you know, not all men are equal in their value to a relationship and to society. You know, some men are more intelligent than others. Some men are, you know, just brutes. Some men are, you know, designed to, you know, sit in a corner and, you know, play by themselves. (laughs) Um, Some men are just undesirable. So when I think that uh, even women, when they get a lot of attention, you know, they have poor discernment, these tens who are not getting into healthy relationships. So they look at, some women literally look at relationships as, or they've normalized resource extraction as, you know, the vetting of a relationship. So what can this guy do for my life? What can this guy provide for me? And when you're a 10 and you're vetting all these guys, it's an easy way out to just say, you know what, I'm going to start my vetting process on who can give me the most, who can give me the most attention, who can give me the most time, who can give me the most money, who can give me the most, you know, you know, sex, if that's, you know, what they're after. Um, so I think that those tens <laughs> operate in that manner. So they are delusional amongst us, but from their lens, they're just living reality that there's so many thirsty dudes out here, giving them compliments, giving them money, showering them with, you know, everything that that's how they normalize what attention looks like. So, um, you know, for the average guy or a guy who's actually interested in them for like a long-term relationship, um, she's going to vet and knock him out the box. Like, oh no, he's not even like sending me good morning texts. Like uh, he, he's out of here. <coughs> so, I mean, when they say that the eights, the nines operate a little bit differently because the nines know that they're tens, you know, and you know, the eights know that they're nines and tens above them. And so the sevens are like, oh, there's prettier women than me, but, you know, I'm not just looking for just all the attention. So I think with age, you know, there's certain realities 
because even young men, we don't start off with money or like a lot of inherent value. We have time and attention we can give to women. And that's what we give as young men. We give women time and attention. So women normalize that as the foundation of a relationship, time and attention. And as you grow older and men become a little bit more successful, it takes a lot of vision and separating and your time and your attention, your time and your money is valuable. You know, time, you know, money or time is money, you know, and women desire both. So I think as you age and especially when you become successful, you don't have that type of time to just give to women. So you have multiple approaches. You know, if you're super successful, you just want to, you know, trick off on women, then yeah, you're going to trick off on the tens. You're going to trick off on what you can get. But if you're trying to develop a real relationship to where you value them and they value you, then, you know, that's going to be a, you know, a different process. And I agree with Stephen A, you know, women who are, you know, in that seven, eight range, you know, are, you know, they're going to be more receptive because they have a, their perspective on life is not that I'm the baddest. You know, they have a perspective of like, oh, I'm not the baddest, but I'm, I'm, I'm still attractive. So. I don't know if anybody else wanted to go yet, but I was going to say that attention is most definitely uh, 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 an X factor in this situation. I mean, if you, if you take the six. Absolutely. Hmm? I'm just, I'm looking at, <laughs> laughing at Ruth. <laughs> yeah, what, take, is, what is Ruth doing over there? Like, you got your, your mute on, you're shaking your head. Somebody gave a they compliment. Trash <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> nah, I, I, somebody gave a compliment, man. She. <laughs> okay. well, I'm, I'm just saying in the chat, damn, Manic is right. I agree with Manic. Oh, shit. That's a perfect right. example with what, what, what the peeps just said, giving Ruth a compliment. And I mean, you could take a six and all it takes is one, fo one photo to be posted on Instagram. And depending on the engagement and the likes and the comments, it'll make her feel like she a 10. So this scale is kind of fragile, you know, in today's society. But I will say the attention is so strong. So like even if you are a 10, because I don't want to be disingenuous to the women saying that, oh, a woman, just because she's beautiful, she she's harder to deal with. It's not that she's hard to deal with. It's the attention that she has to overcome, because if you look at it as a as as you're a, a good player, a decent player playing on a basketball team, but everybody around you is mediocre and you have an average 40 points a game. You could opt out to go play with some better competitions and better guys. But you would only get five minutes because all of the rest of the guys are on the same level as you. So you would end up probably averaging seven points a game. You would opt to stay with that team because regardless of winning, you're getting all the attention, you're getting all the accolades, and you average 40 points a game. You'd rather just stay there because the, 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 the reward for your performance is so much better. So I think women overcoming the attention and then put, positioning themselves in the proximity of the man that's going to cater to and appreciate the, you know, her, the hard work she put in and keeping herself up keeping herself beautiful is a challenge, you know, because all that attention is like, oh, I like this, you know, like, I can play with these guys, head, shit, how much time I got, you know what I mean? But I, do, I do think it's a matter of leverage. I do think it's a matter of leverage from the guy because they said that the seven is likely to, to choose a partner. I think it's the guy. I think it's the guy's leverage. I mean, if you that guy, if you, if you, if you hitting on all strides and you got your shit together, you can get a 10 to, to, to be ready to partner. You can do it. It's, it's all about the man. It's all about your leverage. And that's why I try to tell man, level yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you go in there trying to uh, seek either a partner or and get in a relationship and you ain't done the work, you may not get the results you want, but if you maximize all of your chances, you may be able to get the best, the best options. Bruce, I think that um, nines and tens don't do the work. Like you said, men do the work, but they don't do the work on the inside to make them compete with that seven that is doing the work on the inside. So it's, it's kind of difficult when you do get the nine or 10, she might be a headache because she's not doing the work and she's not developing her character and her personality. So.